It's been a very long day. Lots of stuff to do. Good morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. I just woke up, we've got a pretty long day ahead. Monday is generally the busiest day for me. And to make it worse, I was up a bit late last night trying to do a bit more reading as well as doing some more work for my project. So we've got a few hours until I need to go to my lecture and this time I've got some pretty cool lectures. So I need to go all the way to West Cambridge to the Chemical Engineering Department as well as the Cavendish Physics Department. Cavendish, you know, laboratory, which is the physics department. Um, and I've got two types of lectures there, biosynthesis and bioelectronics, as well as medical physics. And then I come back to the engineering department for some of my lectures, German and engineering. When I say German and engineering, it's sort of engineering delivered in German. I need to quickly have a shower, then we'll go downstairs, have some breakfast, then we'll work, and we'll head off to West Cambridge. enzyme can pick up the electrons from the enzyme and then do well. Right, done with the lecture, going to go to the library quickly. Yeah, the chemical engineering department is pretty nice. go down and have my sandwich quickly before heading off to my medical physics lecture. How's it going? Nice to see you. Okay. Haven't seen you in ages. Yeah, Introducing you, everybody. <laughs> no, totally. I need to go to the medical physics right. thing now. I'll see you soon. See you soon. See you soon. So that there behind us, that's the chemical engineering building. This is in West Cambridge, so it's not in the centre of town, but it's a massive complex, just a 10 minute cycle from the main bit. So yeah, another module I'm doing is medical physics, and for that you need to go to Cavendish, which is world famous for physics. Um, it's practically where they discovered half the stuff you learn at school about physics, so it's a pretty important place. minutes late but they usually just sit there introducing the lecture anyway. So this part's called the museum section I think. It's got loads of uh, really cool things they've invented here. The really cool bit starts just in a second. Look at all these things. 
absolutely crazy. Uh, first discovered by um, this um, Italian. Uh, all processes that can occur reflection, absorption, scattering, reflect some numbers on. In a longer course, we would prove these formulae, but here I will only state them. Um, so here is a picture you have seen before. A beam comes in and meets an uh, ocean over the sum of the Z for amplitude and square top and bottom to get intensity, which is power. And the other thing we have to do is impedance matching. So when we make our trans... Uh, as a hint, email Helen Marshall in the physics department to ask me. Yeah, it's raining pretty heavily outside, so I'm not going to head back just yet. I don't want to get soaked. So we're leaving the Cavendish now, going to go back to my room, then I've got German at four, so I need to go and pick up my car, and then we'll go to Polo after German. German is two hours, so that should be good fun. Now the good thing about doing the medical physics course is that last year I did medical imaging at the engineering department and so Oh sorry It's just practically the same module but for fourth year plus a lot more physics So this journey is a bit grim, my mud guards aren't really covering my tyres properly and so all the nasty rainwater is hitting me on the legs. Ugh. So as you can see this is a really nice sort of cycling route and what they're planning to do is bring a massive busway here so instead of people cycling from the centre of town to West Cambridge there'll be bus services. Now I'm not a big fan of that because this encourages you to cycle, it's a lovely journey in the morning to make. It's good exercise I guess and it keeps everyone fit and healthy. Whereas if they introduce a bus service people will just take the bus and well everyone just become lazy. Fun fact in first and second year all my exams were here so we'd have to leave Jesus College and cycle for 15 minutes to get to the exam hall. Oh those are all good times. going to go back to my room, change into my polo gear, and then we'll head off to the engineering department for around 10 to 4, because I need to drive, so might get caught in traffic. Oh. Just putting my contacts in, having my glasses is quite risky, so in case I fall over, um, although the helmet will protect my head, I might push my glasses, because I'd rather not have my helmet squish my glasses into my face. So, safety first. Going to get to the engineering department a bit early, then I'll get a quick coffee and have a quick snack as well before the two hour monumental session of German. Well, engineering delivered in German. <laughs> Oh, 
Right, and away we go. I'll speak to you guys later. Forwarding them on. Right, just finished with the lecture. Time to go to Polo's, so <clears throat> a bit late and people are waiting for me. It was raining earlier, but it stopped, so hopefully it will be okay. Let's go, sign in quickly, and then we'll get on the horses and I'm on a horse called Shawnee today. Hello. Oh. Oh, there he He's sniffing me. Oh, hello. Come and look at this. Before we jump on. Hello. Look at all these cute horses. Hello. As you can see, they've got a massive bale of uh, straw to eat, so they're not going to really say hello to me when they're like, hello. Come on. Nope. I like Sam. Leave us alone. We're eating dinner. Let's go and find Shawnee. Shawnee, hello. This is Shawnee. Come on, Shawnee. Shawnee's like, hmm, what? I don't want to go play, it's cold. Okay. Good girl. Let's take your rug off. So Shawnee's my favorite horse. Hello. Shawnee is my go-to favorite horse. Oh, that's my camera. Ah, okay. I'm doing a bit of a vlog segment today, so. Hello. Hello, my name is Shawnee. Say hello to the vlog. <laughs> right, let's quickly jump on. <clears throat> so when you get a horse out, you've got to always walk it first, and then trot it, and then you go into counter. Always got to warm up the horses. They just like athletes. Right, I'll speak to you guys afterwards. Let's play. Right, let's get the ball, Shawnee. And we finished training. We're all a bit sweaty, even though it's this cold outside. Untack her, put the rug on, then she'll be fine. She was a festive horse I played polo on, I think. So, wonderful, wonderful pony. Right, need to go back to the Judge Business School for a meeting with some people who are working for us. Right, so I quickly parked the engineering department and I'm going to run to the business school and um, quickly get this meeting done. Anyway, whilst I'm walking there, I hope you enjoyed the more interactive polo video. My mum always says when I play, she's like, Zen, we can see the horse, but we can't see you. And she's always like, explain what you're doing to your audience. I never really thought I'd end up playing polo because I was rowing for so long and I thought I'd always be rowing, but it was just a sport that I bumbled into and have been hooked into and I've loved ever since. So. Yeah, I'm really sort of happy to be able to show you guys what Polo is all about. It's so special because of the horses and you connect with the horse. It's honestly beautiful. I need to meet my business partner who's a PhD physicist. So Pratt here, he's a did his undergrad at Trinity in physics and then is now doing a PhD in quantum physics. So we've got a small business thing started up and this is the Judge Business School. All over trying to walk backwards. Yes, need to go meet him quickly before we meet a team of students who are working for us as part of their degree. Just want to get briefed by him quickly. Hi, I'm here for a meeting on the fourth floor. It's on the balcony. Ah, it's on the balcony. Yes. Okay. Please. Thank you. Please. Cheers. Thank you, Norris. 
this is the wonderful Judge Business School. So all the businessy stuff happens here. So yeah, the Judge Business School is the Cambridge equivalent of Harvard Business School or something. But I'm pretty sure Harvard Business School is much, much better. I shouldn't be saying that, but the facts. These are the guys I'm meeting. Hello. Hey guys. Hello. Right. Would you like Vlog. to say hi? <laughs> to who? To the vlog. <laughs> You're doing vlog now? This is Pat J. This is Hong. Right. So Pat J, quickly, uh, what do you study? Well, I, I am just finishing a PhD in quantum computing. Very um, done. Hong? <laughs> I'm a fourth year chemical engineer. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> right, we'll get the meeting done. Sorry, I'll keep it. Best. Yeah. Right, so the meeting went well, the team know exactly what to do over the next few weeks for us. Um, it's now quite late, it's like 9.40, so I've been out the whole day practically. So I want to get some work done. I've got some labs tomorrow, so I really want to make sure I read up on that. So I don't go there absolutely clueless. So I think I'll quickly run down, um, got some sausages in the fridge. So I'll quickly fry those up. I'll warm up some sauerkraut. I've got some lentils, some like pre lentils. They're like these French lentils. So I'll quickly saute some onions, then sort of a bit of garlic as well, then throw in the lentils and warm them up as well. So they've got lots of protein, lots of good carbs, along with the sausages and the sauerkraut. I think should be just about of a good dinner. Got my iPad with me so I can start reading the notes downstairs. then we'll do some work, so I'll speak to you in about half an hour. follow me on Instagram and I'll catch you guys soon in the next vlog. Speak soon.